Some of the major developments we are tracking, new government data showing a slight decrease in new cases, deaths, and test positivity rates, with known cases of coronavirus worldwide now well over 20 million, at least 5.1 million of those cases here in the U.S., with more than 63 million Americans tested. With me now, ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. Dr. Jen, as you and I know, the CDC definitely taken on some criticism, mm -hmm. criticism about its handling of the coronavirus pandemic, but they're still keeping track of other possible health risks that are on the horizon while helping at the same time to address COVID-19. Right. This one's interesting. Most recently, their focus has turned to Legionnaire's disease. Yeah, and we have to remember, Amy, that the CDC really is looking at many things at the same time. It's not all about COVID-19, but this particular um, news headline has to do with a bacterial pneumonia uh, causing Legionnaire's disease. It is fatal about 10% of the time. It is generally found in stagnant water and air conditioning ducts. And most recently, it was detected in some office buildings in Atlanta that the CDC uses and leases. So they had to shut down those office buildings in response, obviously. Right, and the reason why this is interesting in the time of COVID is that we're seeing buildings now starting to reopen that had been shut down for workers. Uh, there could be real risks potentially if you've had a low occupancy period during this time. Exactly, and we're not only talking about office buildings, but potentially hotels or resorts. So this is really about increasing awareness here because we know that this bacteria can spread with sinks that are just recently turned on, flushing toilets and water fountains that haven't been used and then uh, start to see use. There is not yet any official guidance from the CDC on how to prevent this. Usually it's chlorinated water or just using the water system. The good news is it does not spread person to person. Um, and again, symptoms of this bacterial pneumonia, cough, fever, shortness of breath, just like COVID. Mm. Um, there are about 10,000 cases of Legionnaires in the U.S. approximately every year and awareness is key so that we can help prevent and reduce the incidence. Thank you for raising all of our yeah. awareness. We appreciate it, Dr. Jen. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.